Welcome to episode 7 of Sabling Toronto for 2019. When I left you uh, the last episode, I was just crossing Cook Strait, and what happened was I found lots and lots of footage from that crossing, which i sort of forgotten because I'm making these up um, a week at a time, and, um, and so when I was looking for this week's episode, I found all this other footage because um, I've got about three cameras I use. Um, None of them are the same, they're all kind of different. Anyway, and one of them was accidentally sent, uh, stuck on slow-mo, which um, <laughs> has been intriguing. Um, so some of them are sped up, but they're all filmed really slow, super slow-mo. And it was a setting which I didn't know because these action cameras are really small and, you know. Anyway, I um, I thought I'd put it in anyway just to show you what, uh, give an impression of what sailing Cook Strait can be like. This is quite long, it's a little bit self-indulgent again, but that's the kind of guy I am. Um, someone commented last week that uh, they really liked the length, so this could be a long one. But I'm on the way to Mana to anti-fail the boat and then sail back. Um, so, enjoy. Thank you. 
what an absolutely cracking sale that was. That was so fast and um, exhilarating. And it's, you know, love that cook straight. Um, anyway, here I am approaching Mana, and like an idiot, I'm talking to a camera where the microphone's not going because it's recording on super slow mo. And I've had to speed it up to kind of make it look like normal. But what I'm talking about is how to get uh, in to Mana. You've got to go around the top of Mana Island, and the tide's really important because there's areas there which are 1.5 meters or 0.9 meters. I've gone under there a couple of times now. In fact, here we are. You've got to go around the island. You've got to take those um, lines, the leads in there, do a sharp right. And where it does that turn to the south, there's a dog leg. There's a very narrow bit there, 0.9 of a metre. And I draw about 1.6. I've gone through there with only three, uh, 30 centimetres under my keel once. It was absolutely terrifying. Um, so I took a chance to get in on a falling tide because, you know, it'd be embarrassing more than anything. It's a bit of a city there, lots of houses, lots of people would see you do it. But uh, it is sand, so it's not too bad. And then down to Mana, where they were going to take me out. Now, it's not, <coughs> excuse me, it's not the first time I've been to Mana. This is uh, a few years ago now. Thanks, Jason, for taking these pictures. Um, this could have been the first time I went there. And uh, great facilities, wonderful place, super friendly people really helpful they're there to help boaters boaters helping boaties as i say a bit later on but uh this was the previous occasion cleaning it up giving it an end fell um so obviously i've sailed all the way from tasman bay gone through there you can zoom right down into the bay there you can see the beautiful marina um lots of changes going on because it's quite valuable real estate so um and the you know the changing times people have trailer sailors and power boats and fishing boats and things like that and then there's the launches and then, then there's the sailors and so they're sort of um they've got a social club in there a really good one and it's quite uh it's quite difficult anyway they uh, put me in a different spot this time they put me over on that uh knoll over there which was quite exposed and there was actually a gale in the week i was there um well 60 knots of wind it was a bit terrifying being up there on this high platform perched up but um my mum and sister and her friends came to help, a bit of moral support, they spent had picnics under the boat, there's Angela, she's uh, helped hugely, you can tell by the paint on her hands, um, but uh, managed to do it, that was the view from the boat in the evening, anyway, <clears throat> we'll get back to a bit of talking, eh? Um, here's me having just finished the anti-fouling, man what a feeling. Okay, well here goes, well deserved beer. Done it. It's uh, been almost a week, I suppose. But they put me on this bit of uh, high ground here, right next to these noisy trains. This is Mana Cruising Club. That's the Mana Marina over there. There's the club rooms there. It's a really big social scene. Home of uh, Trevor from Chat Marine and Colin who drives the, uh, the travel lift. Wonderful people. Boaters who like boaties and boaters. They're not into making money, they're into helping. Well, they are, of course. Look at this. Look at this. <whistles> Rough as guts, way better than it was before. So uh, that's me. It's taken me a couple of days. Really? I've given this a bit of a sand, put the new anode on, I'll mop all that with, um, cleaned up the stainless steel, those rust stains, that uh, came out quite well I think, way better actually, to my eye. Um, the other thing I did, which I haven't mentioned yet, is the uh, I painted the bow. Hopefully, the care quality of the camera and the video won't show you too much, but uh, um, it got a bit scuffed up from where I'd uh, solo sailing gone into the marina berth a bit fast, crunched into it. Moments like when uh, I leave the anchor over and it 
bounces on the front and made a few chips. So I bogged it, put a, a two pack bog on it, and then a single coat marine grade enamel. But anyway, looks good in this light, eh? Might even be able to get in the water tomorrow. Man, that's a lot of work. Have to do it again in a couple of days. And I guess the other thing I'll have to do is um, in the morning run around it and look in a different light because when the sun got low in the sky there it was actually really difficult to see where I'm painting it. But it was only the second coat so it's not too much of a problem. But um, it's, a bit, it's a bit messy in places. So I'll just have a quick walk around tomorrow and if I see any areas I'll um, you know if I see any areas that need it, I'll just touch it up again. But um, I guess I should. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do, I do. I feel great. This beer tastes good anyway. And that, my friends, is boat maintenance for another year, probably. It's a bit sad, but I still got some sailing to do. Still got some sailing.
Well, here we go. We're off again. We've done it.